All right, I hope you all are uh, making the best out of your Memorial Day, weather cooperating for many of us for outdoor services and remembrances today. As we take a look in Grand Forks, however, a rain shower, you can see the rain shaft falling down, some gusty winds associated with this particular cluster of thunderstorms working their way through with some reports of winds upwards of 50, 50 miles per hour. Temperature trend over the next few days, this is really the highlight. Look at the heat, it continues to continue to build. Uh, through the work week and in fact we will challenge some records in some areas as we get into the late portion of your work week still hot into the upcoming weekend ahead as we look in on rain chances they're there each and every day at least a little bit it's not going to rain all day every day in fact more of a trend of afternoon thunder like we're seeing today developing moving through and then starting out another hot day after that. So scattered showers and storms, the most expansive of which and likely the strongest making their way into and through the Missouri River Valley. Now for our area south of Fargo towards Breckenridge and Wapiton, we're seeing some showers stretching all the way out towards Lidgerwood and Windmere moving off in a east northeasterly direction at almost 20 miles per hour. These will be pushing into the Rothsay area, Highway 108 and Pelican Rapids area. We do have a few in northern Ottertail County that will skirt through southern Becker uh, uh, County near Highway 10 and Frazee. Here is this little thin green line, an outflow boundary with some small hail potential now moving in over western parts of Grand Forks with this cell. And it's moving off at a clip of about 25 miles per hour. It's going to be in town here momentarily with some gusty winds and some heavy rain, possibly small hail. Up near Langdon, just here south, this cell also moving off to the east northeast and is going to bring some brief heavy rain. We have more activity out to the west that we'll be watching and tracking through the evening. Boy, the gusty wind has just been relentless over the last several days. Gusts over 40 miles per hour at times. Continuing tonight to gust upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour. 89 Fargo, 77 Grand Forks with an approaching thunder shower. Bemidji scattered showers, Steep River Falls scattered showers, keeping you in a cooler pool of air at this time. The heat mainly from Highway 200 and Point South. All right, current conditions out at Hector. We do have 89 degrees, gusty winds to 25 miles per hour, 84 at Moorheads Airport. Here's your forecast. The showers we see in Minnesota will continue to move east. I don't expect severe there. There is a small chance that we may see marginally severe hail close to an inch in diameter and wind gusts around 50 or more miles per hour from this batch of storms here. But more in particular, look at the time late tonight. Thunderstorms developing this stuff moving out of the central Dakotas through our area in the early hours of the late night period could be strong. They diminish as we go through the overnight. There'll be some nighttime thunder. I paused it in Fargo at around three in the morning. Swirling around tomorrow looks like more of the same morning showers exit clear sun warm throughout the day. The big difference. Where's the wind arrows? By golly, I think we did it. The wind is gone. The heat is here, passing thunder showers here and there. Nothing severe. Morning temperatures in the 60s. Temperatures in the warmer period, our warmer category south, a little bit cooler up to the north. Here's a look at your planning forecast. But first, thanks so much from the Langdon area. Some showers. Cheyenne sharing those. All right, planning forecast. Hot, hot, hot with thunder each and every afternoon as we go through the forecast period. We're expecting our temperatures to remain hot. I'll go over this a little bit more in detail, Justin, in just a second. But all in all, heat and storms, the theme of the week. Yeah, the summer stretch continues, dodging these storms. Warm weather means more sun, more strong sun. But what sunscreen has the most protection? Can you use it incorrectly? We'll explain next.